नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू आर वाचिंग राज्यसभा टेलीविजन आई एम स्मृति रस्तोगी विद न्यूज टुनाइट इन द नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स वील टेक यू थ्रू ऑल द लेटेस्ट न्यूज एंड अपडेट्स ऑफ द डे बट बिफोर दैट अ क्विक लुक एट द टॉप एट लाइन्स Anti BJP alliances a failed experiment. Opposition party is trying to prop helpless governments to promote nepotism and corruption. Says Prime Minister Narendra Modi at BJP's national convention calls for strong BJP government at center. Asserts BJP rule shows country can be run without corruption. Modi government ushered in stability, development and growth says BJP's political resolution praises government's efforts to uplift poor, empower women and rein in corruption. Mayawati and Akhilesh Yadav address joint press conference announce BSP SP alliance both parties to contest 38 seats each bjp calls partnership opportunistic congress says ignoring it is a dangerous mistake vice president m venkaiah naidu urges foreign investors to tap huge potential of the indian economy calls country a bright spot in the global landscape which is on its way to become a 5 trillion dollar economy and australia win the sydney odi go one up in three match series rohit sharma century goes in vain as india lose by 34 runs in the khelo india games in pune Maharashtra tops medals tally with 37 goals and 114 medals. A top focus tonight Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday said that the opposition parties are coming together as they want to form a majboor or helpless government. to promote nepotism and corruption whereas the bjp wants a strong dispensation for all round development he said that people should decide whether they want a strong government or a weak one which forms alliance out of desperation maine din raat ek karke prayas kiya hai ki desh ke logon ka jeevan aur aasan bane desh ke vanchit aur peedit aur shoshit aur garibon ko उनका अधिकार मिले Addressing the concluding session of the two-day BJP National Convention in New Delhi on Saturday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi asserted that the BJP is the only political party that can take India to great heights. He said, "People have developed a firm belief in the party after seeing the NDA government function in the past four and a half years." Targeting the opposition alliance, Prime Minister Modi said that people have to decide if they want a strong. strong government or a weak one that forms alliance out of desperation only to oust bjp from power rajniti vichar par ki jaati hai rajniti gadbandhan vision par bante bigadte hain lekin ye pehla avsar hai jab sirf ek vyakti ke virodh mein sab ek jhoot ho rahe hain ye sare milkar अब देश में एक मजबूर सरकार बनाने में जुट गए हैं ऑन द राम टेम्पल इशू प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अक्यूज द कांग्रेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग रोड ब्लॉक्स इन द केस थ्रू इट्स लॉयर्स हमने आधार को कानूनी स्वरूप देने की कोशिश की कांग्रेस ने फिर विरोध किया हम तीन तलाक को खत्म करने के लिए कानून लाए कांग्रेस और साथ ही फिर विरोध कर रहे हैं अब अयोध्या विषय में ही देखिए कांग्रेस अपने वकीलों के माध्यम से न्याय प्रक्रिया में बाधा पहुंचाने की कोशिश कर रही है 
Prime Minister also accused the Congress of aiding corruption for 10 years in its regime. He also blamed the party leaders for spreading lies on security deals. The Prime Minister criticized the government of Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal and Chhattisgarh for withdrawing general consent to the CBI and asked what they were afraid of. Prime Minister Modi also appealed to the party workers who came from across the country to always be connected with the people. Panchanan Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. BJP on Saturday said that next Lok Sabha elections will be a fight between stability and instability. At the two-day national convention meet held in the national capital, party chief Amit Shah underlined BJP's achievements and announced a blueprint for the 2019 elections. The party also passed a political resolution at the meeting. On the second day of the BJP National Executive Meet, Party President Amit Shah expressed confidence ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections and called the 2019 polls a battle of ideologies. Exuding confidence, he said BJP will again form the government at the centre under Prime Minister Modi's leadership. The Janta Party has not opened these three countries in these हमारे कार्यकर्ताओं को हौसला रखने की जरूरत है हौसला गवाने की जरूरत नहीं है एक मौका है 2019 में ये तीनों राज्य एक मजबूत सरकार डालने की नींव बन जाए इस प्रकार से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं को आगे बढ़ना चाहिए द कन्वेंशन ऑल्सो पास द पॉलिटिकल रेजोल्यूशन द पार्टी सेट टाइम हैज कम फॉर द कंट्री टू डिसाइड वेदर इट वॉन्ट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग और वीक गवर्नमेंट एजेंडा चुनाव का वो जो हम तय करेंगे और इसमें आक्रमता से आगे बढ़िए एक भी गलती नहीं है जिसके लिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी के किसी कार्यकर्ता को इस चुनाव में सिर झुकाना पड़े एड्रेसिंग द कन्वेंशन डिफेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन सेड द मोदी गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोवाइडेड करप्शन फ्री फाइव इयर्स एंड दैट नो मेजर टेरर अटैक हैज टेकन प्लेस ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड Remind our people that this country has lived a peaceful five years. There are, of course, disturbances in the border, but the Indian Army has made sure that every attempt to come into this country is eliminated, even at the border. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari asserted that the Congress cannot digest the space of development and is trying to malign the government by bringing forward false allegations of corruption. राफेल के बारे में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने साफ कह दिया है न कोई भ्रष्टाचार हुआ है और यह करार देश के हित में है यह सुप्रीम कोर्ट के निर्णय के बाद में भी लगातार झूठे आरोप करने की बार बार कोशिश होती है द पार्टी इज नेशनल कन्वेंशन मंथ्स अहेड ऑफ द 2019 लोकसभा इलेक्शन इज द बिगेस्ट एवर गैदरिंग ऑफ बीजेपी मेंबर्स नियरली ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पार्टी मेंबर्स अटेंडेड इट एट डेली रामलीला मैदान Panchanan Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Samajwadi Party and Bahujan Samaj Party announced their alliance in Uttar Pradesh for the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. The erstwhile rivals have agreed on a seat-sharing formula. Interestingly, they have left the Congress Party out of the tie-up and left two seats of Amethi and Raibareli. Arch rivals Samajwadi Party and Bahujan Samaj Party joined hands in Uttar Pradesh after 25 years. The move was announced by both party chiefs at a joint press conference in Lucknow. The four stern friends agreed on a seat-sharing formula that gives each of them 38 seats out of a total 80 seats. While the two parties kept the Congress out of the alliance, they decided to not field any candidates in Amethi and Raibareli that is represented by Congress President Rahul Gandhi and UPA Chairperson Sonia Gandhi. They also left two seats for allies whose names have not yet been announced. The BSP and SAPPA have no special benefit with the Congress Party. They have no special benefit with the Congress Party. They have no special benefit with the Congress Party. हमें छोड़ी गई सीटों पर इस पार्टी का अपना अधिकांश वोट ट्रांसफर नहीं होता है बोथ मायावती एंड अखिलेश यादव क्लेम दे विल जॉइंटली डिफीट द बीजेपी इन द जनरल इलेक्शन जस्ट एज देर अलायंस डिफीटेड द बीजेपी इन द लोकसभा बाय पोल्स इन फूलपुर गोरखपुर एंड कैराना बहुजन समाज पार्टी और समाजवादी पार्टी का केवल चुनावी गठबंधन नहीं है बल्कि भाजपा 
बल्कि भाजपा द्वारा किए जा रहे अन्याय और अत्याचार का अंत भी है अब बहुजन समाज पार्टी समाजवादी पार्टी और दोनों पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता मिलकर के भाजपा के अत्याचारों का डट कर मुकाबला करेंगे The BJP dismissed the alliance stating that the two parties have come together for survival and not for the country or Uttar Pradesh. The party also rubbish speculation that the alliance will have a big role to play in the general elections. Jatiwadi aur bhrasht mansikta ka gathbandhan hai jo vikas nahi chahta jo susasan nahi chahta jo arajakta danga aur avyavastha aur arajakta का कारण है वही लोग गठबंधन अपने निजी स्वार्थों के लिए चला रहे हैं वेस्ट बंगाल चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड तृणमूल कांग्रेस चीफ ममता बनर्जी ऑल्सो वेलकम दायंस कम्स एज अ ब्लो टू कांग्रेस इज एफर्ट्स टू कॉबल अप महागठबंधन अहेर ऑफ द इलेक्शन लेफ्ट टू कंटेस्ट द लोकसभा पोल्स ऑन इट्स ओन कांग्रेस लीडर्स विल होल्ड अ मीटिंग इन लखनऊ ऑन संडे टू चौक आउट स्ट्रैटेजी वाल द टॉप लीडरशिप इज मेंटेनिंग साइलेंस ऑन द अलायंस पार्टी लीडर अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी सेड इट विल लीड टू अ डिवीजन ऑफ वोट्स कि जब आपका उद्देश्य सामूहिक है एक है और उस उद्देश्य के लिए किसी रूप का विघटन अच्छा नहीं है और इसके लिए दोषारोपण जनता उनका करेगी जो विघटन लाता है वोट में तो मैं समझता हूं बड़ा जाहिर है बड़ा स्पष्ट है इन द 2014 लोकसभा इलेक्शंस द बीजेपी वन 71 आउट ऑफ द 80 लोकसभा सीट्स इन द स्टेट The Samajwadi Party won five seats and the Congress two. Apna Dal won two seats while the BSP drew a blank. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. And for more on this, we'll go across to Mr. Sanjay Singh, political editor, First Post. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to Rajya Sabha Television. Given the fact that BSP and SP have been an arch rival since years together, now how credible and viable is this alliance between the two parties? See, basically, this uh, as Mayawati today said that their party emerged, both BSP and SP, in Uttar Pradesh, in kind of uh, because Congress uh, to uh, contest and challenge Congress's hegemony, and therefore, this he said, that uh, over a period in time, their party grew. There was a time when Congress was at the center. and almost in all the states what we say from panchayat to parliament was the congress hmm. and she was talking about genesis of bahujan samaj party but then she said uh, she contested with some uh, with congress once and uh, pitfalls of that particular experience was there that experience was very bitter whereby congress gained from that particular alliance and bsp suffered and hmm. same was experience of aglay sayadaw in 2017 and thereafter these two parties are coming together the fact remains that sp and bsp mayawati and aklesh yadav mayawati and mulayam singh yadav did not see i to i they were sworn enemies hmm. in uttar pradesh but given the situation bjp's upsurge and rise of pradhan uh, prime minister narendra modi as a campaigner as a leader as an administrator these two parties faced existential crisis which was reflected in 2014 parliamentary elections and subsequently in assembly elections and thereafter therefore to kind of escape uh, their existential crisis and be relevant on the ground and also mm. uh, up and continuing uh, in national uh, political scene in the state and also at the center they have aligned together this is their most desperate attempt to come together right. on surface of it they present a formidable alliance mm. and they have kept congress out that is very mm. significant because mm. congress all the while was talking about mm. mahagathbandhan in a way leading that mahagathbandhan mm. by doing say they have negated rahul gandhi's leadership also mm. and uh, mr singh just as you mentioned about the mahagathbandhan also is the congress really missing from uh, the alliance because the samajwadi party and the bahujan samaj party have left two uh, are not contesting on two seats of amethi and raibareli yeah samajwadi party never contested from amethi and raibareli hmm. uh, samajwadi party had constant contested there in 2014 rahul gandhi perhaps would not have won amethi seat but that a uh, tactical situation whereby they <coughs> withdrew from amethi and raibareli decided not to contest there keeping their options for a post full alliance with congress open but that also means that beyond amethi and raibareli congress's fate in other 78 seats are completely sealed congress has practically no hope in rest of 78 seats in uttar pradesh 
that's a huge huge setback for congress mm -hmm. remember congress all the while was talking about uh, even rahul gandhi was talking about this alliance and the bite that you played of abhishek manu singh we just now mm. uh, that unity in purpose unity in purpose what is that unity in purpose defeat narendra modi beyond that there is no vision and then he said people will actually see who is cutting vote mm. in uttar pradesh mm. it is congress who who is going to cut votes and therefore abhishek manu singh we's statement what he was saying for bsp and sp mm. is actually true for congress at least in uttar pradesh has the rld got a fair deal <laughs> so far rld has been left out in cold rs rld was also talking to congress party rld was also to looking to other options Mm. but yes the two seats that have mm. been left open by sp and bsp if rld concedes and make some practical kind of negotiations mm. then perhaps rld still has a chance to get into because remember ajit singh's prime concern is about himself and about his son beyond that i don't think ajit singh has any practical great considerations in this but remember if, if their alliance in fact uh, seat sharing negotiations are in trouble in bihar because congress has raised its demand mm. situation is not very well in uh, karnataka also mm. and therefore that uh, the thing that congress was projecting that in all states modi versus all in every state mm. uh, there is going to be bjp and uh, every other single party which congress thought it would lead soon as mahagathbandhan comes into effect mm. i think that particular thing is being challenged by regional satraps of different hues Thank you so much, Mr. Singh, for joining us and giving us all those details on that latest development of the day, where BSP and Samajwadi have uh, uh, have addressed a joint press conference uh, uh, announcing their alliance before the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. Moving on to some more developments, the conference of chief electoral officers of all the states and union territories organised by the Election Commission concluded on Saturday. The two-day conference held a comprehensive review of poll preparedness of the states prior to the general elections. The primary focus of the Election Commission was on the integrity of the electoral roll, meticulous planning for elections, EVM and VVPAT assessment and training, and extensive voter outreach. At the conference, Chief Election Commissioner Sunil Arora stressed that the electoral roll, which is currently under the process of revision and finalisation, will be used in the forthcoming Lok Sabha elections. He also said that every effort must also be made to ensure all voters are registered well in time. Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu addressed the inaugural summit of CII's Partnership Summit in Mumbai on Saturday. He called upon the centre and the state governments to work together for the development of rural India. He also urged the business community to take on more corporate social responsibility initiatives to address challenges like poverty, illiteracy and others. India is a bright spot in the global economy, said Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu on Saturday. He was addressing the inaugural session of the CII Partnership Summit in Mumbai. Naidu said that India is soon to become a $5 trillion economy and it's the right time for foreign investors to tap its huge potential. The Vice President called upon industry and governments, both at centre and the states, to work together to bridge the urban-rural divide. In the wake of various initiatives and reforms taken by the government in the past few years, India has become one of the favourite destinations for investment in the world. India was ranked in the 11th the Global FDI Confidence Index of 2018. The annual FDI flows, inflows into country are expected to raise to 75 US dollar billion over the next five years, according to a report by UBS. In fact, this is the right time for foreign investors to tap the huge potential offered by India. Naidu said that state governments are playing a key role in the development of the Indian economy and are competing among themselves in a healthy manner to attract investments. He stressed the need to promote similar competitiveness among districts. 
The vice president also said the increasing internet penetration in rural India is providing a great opportunity to fast track development and transform the face of villages in India. Online is picking up in rural areas too. 1.21 lakh gram panchayats are connected with special optical fiber network under Bharat Net project and the remaining gram panchayats would be connected by March 2019. Everywhere. This will transform rural India by enabling access to digital transactions and online sale of products including agri products via national agriculture market. I am particularly happy to note that various states in the country, my dear friends, even when governed by different parties, are competing among themselves in a healthy manner to in attract investments. The 25th edition of the Confederation of Indian Industries Partnership Summit is being organized by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry and the Maharashtra government. The theme of the summit is New India, rising to global occasions. We want to make sure that India becomes a friend of almost all from the world to ensure that we also offer a platform which will be beneficial to the, our partners as well as to us. And at a time when we are working towards a $5 billion economy with a detailed plan already worked out, but also towards a $10 billion economy before 2035. Over 1,000 delegates from 40 countries have arrived in Mumbai for the two-day summit that is expected to build new partnerships and explore investment opportunities in sectors like artificial intelligence, big data, food processing, defense aeronautics, renewable energy and tourism. Rajkumal Rao's report from Mumbai for Rajya Sabha TV. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu called Swami Vivekanand an embodiment of Indian culture. Addressing an event to commemorate the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekanand, Vice President Naidu said that he was a social reformer who was against all types of religious dogmas. Remembering the contributions of Swami Vivekanand, the Vice President said that preserving the invaluable heritage of India was true nationalism. Stressing the need to popularize the teachings of Swami Vivekanand among the younger generation, Naidu said that his teachings are more relevant today than ever before. We are here to pay tribute to one of the great sons of this great country, Swami Vivekananda, who was a spiritual teacher, embodiment of Hindu culture. Swami Vivekananda is an embodiment of Hindu culture. His address to World Parliament of Religions 125 years ago was a momentous event, played a major role in introducing Hinduism to the world. Earlier, Hinduism was not that much known to the entire world. His Chicago speech was encapsulated the timeless values of Indian culture and its eternal relevance. What Suveka Swami said in his epoch-making address in Chicago is as relevant today as it was then. The National Investigation Agency arrested a 24-year-old man from Uttar Pradesh in connection with its probe against an ISIS-inspired crew. The group allegedly planning suicide attacks and serial blasts targeting politicians and government installations in Delhi and other parts of North India. 24-year-old Mohammad Absar has been sent to six-day remand. He was arrested by the agency from Hapur on Friday night. The NIA has so far arrested 12 people in connection with the case. And sports news now. India suffered a 34-run defeat to Australia in the first ODI at the Sydney Cricket Ground on Saturday. Chasing a target of 289 runs, India lost three wickets early in the innings. Despite opener Rohit Sharma's gritty century, India ended up at 254 for nine. Jay Richardson took four wickets for Australia, giving the team a 1-0 lead in the three-match series. This was the first time since 2017 that Australia won the opening game of an ODI series. Although India lost the opening match in the ODI series, former skipper Mahindra Singh Dhoni achieved another milestone. Following his 51-run knock in the Saturday's match, Dhoni became only the fifth Indian batsman to complete 10,000 runs in the ODI cricket. 
Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly, Rahul Dravid and Virat Kohli are the other batsmen to have achieved the feat. And in Kelo India Youth Games, Haryana beat Uttar Pradesh in the men's under-17 hockey second semi-finals. Haryana will now clash with Punjab on the 14th of this month for the title. Meanwhile, in the other games, Manav Aditya Singh Rathod of Rajasthan got the men's under-21 trap shooting gold medal. 2018 Asian Games silver medalist Laksh Shyoran lost his rhythm and finished in fourth place despite Bhavnish of Haryana and Shadul Pihan of Uttar Pradesh. While Manisha Kheer of Madhya Pradesh claimed the women's under-21 trap gold, Manisha is a World Junior Championship silver medalist. In athletics, Puna, Punam Sonavne won silver, while in wrestling, the state athletes bagged four bronze in various categories. And in the tally so far, Maharashtra is at the top with 116 total medals, including 37 gold, while Delhi continues to follow second with 35 goals and Haryana too maintains its third position with 29 goals. That's all we have for you in this edition of News Tonight. Thank you for watching. Namaskar. Thank you.